Hello, everybody. We have the beautiful Kate Quinn here this week. How are you, Kate? I'm well, thanks, Ros. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Absolute pleasure. Now, um, we were just talking off camera about a little painter I have next to me. So if you see any little hands moving, that's that's what's going on over here. Um, so Kate, so I, <laughs> she, she is a little cute. She knows it too. Um, <laughs> Now, Kate, I first came across you um, over through, I think it's through Art to Art initially. I How think long... it's because I bought one of your paintings oh, for us. You did, that is true. <laughs> a little <laughs> while ago, was that maybe six, six months ago? Gosh, our time yeah. flies. Something like that. I think I was down there and um, I saw your painting and I just said to Philippa that I had to take it home with me oh. and then and then I messaged you and that's how we got chatting oh, oh that's that's it you're reminding me thank you <laughs> so um so Kate for those people watching who don't know your background do you want to let them a little bit let them know a little bit about where you're based and a little bit about your art and what you do in your art business as well sure uh so I live in Brisbane in Queensland and I um I'm actually a social worker and who has transitioned uh, over the last few years. I've done less and less social work and more and more art. And so this year I've finally gone full time as an artist. Um, and I, you can see it behind me. This is actually what I've, I'm working on literally right now. I just turned around to face the camera to talk to you today. Um, and I paint in oils on canvas. And I primarily paint still life. I've painted the occasional dog or boat, but um, I don't, haven't had any success with portraits yet, although it's something I'd like to learn. So I, I mainly stick with still life. I'm obsessed with flowers, I'm like big time obsessed. Yeah. And I love, I love any combination of um, vases, beautiful fabrics, flowers. I love ceramics. I love incorporating fruit and veggies and sometimes cups of tea and things like that into my paintings. But flowers are always in my paintings. I love them. Gorgeous. I think I think it's really important to follow that, yeah, whatever lights you up, you know. Like I, somebody was asking me um, if I should, like, or talking to me about the idea of getting into pet portraits. And I thought, you know, like, I love pets. I've got two cats. But it doesn't light me up enough to make that a key part of my business. Like you've got to, you've got to be passionate about what you paint. You do. And I actually think it comes through in your art. If you're just grinding them out because someone wants a pet portrait and you don't feel anything for it, I think it shows. Mm. um I've I've done a you know painted my sister's dog as a gift for her and mm. I loved that because I know that dog but I couldn't really get into pets as a big time because it, I don't know why I'm obsessed with flowers but I just am and people have often said asked if I'll ever get sick of it I think maybe they're sick of looking at me painting <laughs> flowers <laughs> well they can move and, on to someone else all fine <laughs> yeah exactly and and they've asked if I want to paint something mm. else and I actually don't I, maybe I'll get sick of it but at the moment I just keep wanting to paint flowers yeah absolutely beautiful well, well that passion is I think it's like super evident in your gorgeous pieces I, I actually so. used yeah no 100% I actually used um one of the backgrounds from one of your artworks and I messaged you um as inspo in one of my lessons that I ran, ran within my art for the heart membership because the, yeah. you have a particular background with your gold like thick gold brush strokes in a directional yes. like in a pattern sort of a design um, they're gorgeous. Have you been doing that particular background for a while or that's just a little pop-up? No, my, look, look, most of my art career has just been falling into stuff and it was the mm -hmm. same thing. I just was at the art shop and saw this gold oil paint, um, these metallic paints, and I'd seen gold leaf, but I hadn't really explored gold metallic paints. I'd use sometimes the lovely um, metallic oil pastel sticks but mm. I hadn't explored the paints. So I just was literally dabbing down the paint on the canvas to see how it worked. And mm. then I thought that might look really nice as a sort of a pattern. Yeah. And now I'm using it all the time. Oh, there um, you go. I, I, and so yeah. are my students now. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> At great cost because the gold paint is not cheap. Oh, yes. But it's so nice. Sometimes it's just the good stuff, like, you know. It is. Yeah, you got to <laughs> top it up. Just got to yeah. go for it. Awesome. And you also run workshops, is that right? I do. Look, again, I just kind of fell into this. I am, mm. I'm not a trained art teacher. I'm not, in fact, even a trained artist. I've, I've done art 
workshops myself and classes and courses and mm-hmm. I did really well at art at school but I haven't I don't have a, a fine arts degree so I've, mm-hmm. I've learned a lot of this by trial and error. And um, I started just because someone asked me if I would do a one-on-one class at home. And I said, oh, look, I don't know how to teach you, but I can show you what I do. Mm. And we did. And it was really lovely. And it just spiraled and word got out. And so now I do classes at home in my home studio and Mm -hmm. I have to limit it to the amount of days because it can take over the amount of painting time I have for myself. (laughs) And then um, if it has got even bigger recently because... um, a lovely friend of mine, a colleague, an art colleague who I've just met through the Brisbane art community, Emily Day and I um, were approached by a high school friend of mine, Claire, who owns a beautiful um, Airbnb in Rockhampton. And she is a writer for country style and her house is gorgeous, as you can mm-hmm. imagine. And she asked us to come up and do an art workshop in Rocky. And so we, oh. we, cook, we cooked up this scheme and we called it Bloom because we both, Emily and I both love painting flowers, although she uses acrylics and I paint in oils. And she uses a really different colour palette to me. I love brights and she focuses on neutrals. Mm. Um, but anyway, we went up to Rocky and we had, we, we had, we decided that the regular, that kinds of art classes I'd been to before were nice, but it was sort of like, bring your own coffee cup. We'll provide the Nest Cafe instant you'll have to find your own lunch during the break and the the environment would be pretty basic and Mm. we just thought there was a gap in the market Mm. for people who want to actually a really nice day out who want to have time away from their kids a lot of them yeah kids (laughs) but uh, there's a lot of mums out there who are feeling like their life is overtaken by their family responsibilities and they like doing creative things but they want to make it worth it so we've just um created uh bloom art experiences is mm. what they're called mm. and we are g- going to travel around the country we've already got a <gasps> few of them planned in the next year um bring where you'll come and spend a day with us and um we'll paint all day you'll learn to paint a simple still life mm. but at, along the way we'll provide a really beautiful lunch and nice wine that's grown locally if we're in a in, in a wine area mm. and then some sort of other unique thing so we might the next one we've got coming up we're painting in the middle of an art gallery this is Toowoomba. amazing yes and it's going to be during the carnival of flowers so yes. at lunchtime we're going to go out into the park amongst all of the bulbs that'll be in bloom and have a beautiful picnic oh lunch. my goodness this is amazing yeah. you know you do inspire me on the workshop front I'm like oh. Oh, look what Kate's doing I love it <laughs> Yes, look, we're fumbling our way through, but the last couple that we've done have been absolutely beautiful. And I think we're on the right track because it's just a nice thing to do. Yeah. And this is the thing, like, like we were saying with the artwork, following your passion and what lights you up. I think even as an, like, not a trained teacher and even without a fine arts degree, it doesn't really, I really honestly think It doesn't matter. If you love what you do, you love sharing your passion with other people, you love supporting other people to access the arts. Beautiful, (laughs) darling. Oh, great. (laughs) Very nice. Okay, I'll look after it. Um, And, yeah, then that just comes through, you know. Like I just... No, that's the, I think that's the number one thing is the passion and the interest and um, whoops, you right? And the um, yeah, I don't know the joy that it brings you to share with other people. Mommy, so. Yeah. Now can you put your phone on video? Oh, in about five minutes, darling. Okay. I'm going away. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Can you paint <laughs> a big rainbow for me? Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think, you know, I think that's just beautiful. I'm curious, are your workshops with acrylics or oils? Well, so, well, it, it, the ones I run at home are oils because um, oh, okay. I'm no good with acrylics. They drive too fast for me and make mm-hmm. me feel panicked. So <laughs> I, I put down a stroke and go, ah, it's dry already. I can't manipulate it. So I much prefer uh, mm. oils because I can manipulate them all day. Okay, um, yep. So, but at, our, at the Bloom classes with Emily, we split our group into half and half. So half the class will do oils with me and half will do acrylics with Emily. Mm. And so they'll get some exposure to both mediums and how That's they so work. Good. Can yeah. I come along? If you come yes. near, near me, can I just come along? Is that all right? <laughs> yes. Do you know people have been coming from far and wide uh, in the Rockhampton class, a lady mm. um, who is three hours driving time from Perth. Mm 
came, book, drove to Perth for three hours, got on a flight from Perth to Brisbane, Brisbane wow. to Rocky Whoa. to come to that. Yes, to come oh, to that's, that class. That's serious. <laughs> that's called one mum who is really keen for some time out. <laughs> <laughs> She is, and she had a great day, and uh, so yeah. there's no excuse, Roz. You, you'll just okay, have to sit on the plane. Okay, done. <laughs> look, look, my husband does work for an airline, so um, no excuses, oh, right? Perfect, yes. <laughs> All right, done deal. We're in, we're in. <laughs> um, so how did you make that transition? I think this might be an interesting topic, like the transition from your, um, not art to teaching, but the transition from your counselling counseling work, Social work. Social yeah. work, sorry. Um, into painting. Like, had you always done some sort of an art? It tends to yes. be the case. And then, yeah, tell me how that sort of went because we might have people watching today who were, you know, in a job, a day job, yep. um, painting, love the creativity and just, yeah, that transition is definitely, uh, what is it? I don't want to say a sore point, but a, a, a Difficult. challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm. Look, I think I've listened to lots of art podcasts and every single artist says, oh, look, I've always loved, had needed to have some sort of creative thing mm -hmm. on the go and I'm the same. So mm -hmm. when I left school, um, I'd done so well at art, but it never, it was never sort of presented that you could do art as a career. Mm -hmm. We're not, I mean, I'm old now, so it's different Hardly. now. I think you're the same <laughs> as me. <laughs> Young, were you? I think, I think now, <laughs> yeah. Young people now, if they have a passion for art, I'm sure that their schools and their parents would encourage them to explore that as a career. But I think it was different in the 90s. You know, mm. it was sort of like that just wasn't really seen as an option. So I did social work, but I always had some sort of creative project on the go. So I've done every craft you can imagine. I've mm. done sewing. I've done silversmithing. I've yeah. done acrylics. I've done watercolours. I've done clay, earring, polymer. I had, a, I had a crafting blog with some friends for a while. We used to meet on Friday nights. It's called Crafty Friday. And we'd all mm. bring a, we'd take turns bringing a craft activity and we'd make felt toys, like Aww, all of this it. This is beautiful. Yeah, because I, I just always needed to have something creative. It's mm. just an itch I have to scratch. And I think heaps of artists are like that. In fact, mm. lots of people are probably like that and love to have a project. Um, but probably it's probably 10 years ago I was obsessed with Laura Jones's work I'm still obsessed mm. with Laura Jones's work oh, thank you uh and she makes it look so easy and she paints in oils and I just kept looking at her work and thinking mm. oh that she makes that doesn't look that hard I'm sure I could do it and yeah. so I um but my kids were younger then and it was really hard for me to find time so I booked into a class um just a little local class down the road so that they could teach me how to use oils because I didn't know what to mix with them I didn't know how to clean them up nothing mm -hmm. so I did that and had a, a terrible attempt at painting a Lauren Jones style mm -hmm. still life mm -hmm. but it just was the start of something and I've never stopped it and so for probably five years I just did it as a very part-time hobby because my kids were little and I was working and I just didn't have much time mm -hmm. um, so I would just do one like every couple of months but then probably in the last five years I've just built up momentum and um, the, the turning point was that I, I just had this sort of epiphany one day where I kept thinking, if I keep waiting in my life to find more time to paint, I'll be 75 and in the retirement village when I finally start painting properly mm. because something always comes up to fill your time. Mm -hmm. And I just decided I had to create, carve that time out in my life. Mm. So I booked into a weekly art class so that every Friday I had no choice. I had to go because I paid for it. And mm -hmm. it forced me to have a regular practice. And that was an absolute game changer. That was probably three or four years ago. Beautiful. Um, and then a few months after that, I thought I'm going to start an Instagram account, which was terrifying. But, <laughs> and now I just, I post everything and I'm not scared of it at all. But at the start, that felt really scary. And I, I, you feel really exposed. Mm -hmm. But I started, I just got brave one day and started an Instagram account with my art. And it's sort of just all gone from there. And then I entered the Jumbled Art Superstar comp and I mm -hmm. somehow miraculously won that. <laughs> Don't I you love it? We all do the same thing. We're like, oh, something must be wrong. <laughs> I won this thing, I'm a finalist, yeah. or I came first, or whatever it is, and how did oh. that happen? They've made a mistake. <laughs> yes, 
That was crazy. I've never been more shocked in my life, honestly. I had the, I was so unprepared for that. I didn't have an ABN. I didn't have a business bank account. Like I had nothing yeah, ready yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes, like you know, like you would have experienced, you just gotta enter, see what yeah. happens, and trust yourself that you know if something comes, if it comes through, that you'll sort out the rest after. You'll you'll That's exactly what ABN. you have to do. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And I had to, and I was there at the bank the next morning going, I'm going to need a business bank account. I want a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and so th th this fate has kind of intervened. And so I haven't really planned this. I've worked hard at it, but I haven't really set out any sort of five year plan. It's just mm. kind of happened alongside me painting a lot. So, you know, mm -hmm. you've got to do the practice, but if you do the practice, other stuff will come out of that that you yeah. can't predict. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so I've just gradually reduced my days more and more as a social worker and increased mm -hmm. my days more and more as an artist over a sort of three year transition. Uh, whereas now I just don't have time. So um, I'm full time art now and I'm painting on weekends. Yeah. Yay, that's yeah. so amazing. And how old are your kids now, out of interest? Well, they're bigger now. So they're 17, 15, and 11. Okay. All so right. It's, a lot e it's really busy but yeah. they're a lot more independent and it's mm. easier now unlike at your phase yeah. um, <laughs> that I can see beside you which is so cute but they need constant attention yes yeah so ignore um, me sorry I keep on leaning over yeah. giving trying to give her some inspo art to keep her going <laughs> it's great and she'll end up being a beautiful little artist because she'll see her mum doing this and this is amazing role modeling. I actually, I said to her actually this morning, I said, darling, you can be, you can do anything you want to do as your career. I, my goal is for you to be happy and I will support you to do that. But I'm curious, why don't you want to be an artist? Because she never, she always says everything else. And I don't mind, like, honestly, there was no expectation in yeah. the question. I was just curious. Um, and the answer was, I just don't want to be. So maybe we need some more words. <laughs> She don't want to be. So she don't there. want to be. But I was. I will one day get a better answer because I'm really curious. Like, is it because it looks like hard work? What is like? What is it? You know, interesting. She probably just wants something more exciting than what Mum does every day. <laughs> probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So good. So thank you so much for sort of explaining your journey and your transition because that's really really important. I think for a lot of our um, viewers, I keep on saying wanting to say listeners, um, but we're viewing today because we're on YouTube. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for that. So I know. I know you're all over Instagram, right? So you've got, what's your Insta handle? My Instagram name is very basic. It's just yeah. Kate Quinn, what, sorry, Kate Quinn art, all one word. Yeah. Okay, no dots, underscores. Nothing, no, crazy it wasn't taken. Things. Perfect, yeah. Kate Quinn art, beautiful. Yeah. Um, and have you got a website as well? I do, and it's exactly the same. It's just yeah, katequeenart.com. Yeah, so very good. simple. That's yeah. what you want though, right? The consistency. Yes. All right. I'm getting, I really am being foolish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, there was something else I wanted to ask you. Can you finish that? Um, was, so we're talking about Instagram, um, your website as well. Um, yeah. So maybe if you don't mind, we can chat really briefly about the different ways that you sell your art, because I know, so you did the, you're on Jumbled now. Is that because you've entered, you entered the competition? Yes. And so then they, point? Yes, and then once um, Jumbled have, they call it their art gang, is they just have a crew of artists that, um, that they sell um, art on behalf of. And yeah. so I'm lucky enough to be in their art gang for as long as they're willing to have me. And okay. I've actually got a, um, I've just finished, hang on a second. You're all right. I saw, I saw the door open. Mum, I'm, I'm just on a, a Zoom call. Hi, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got a, um, a jumbled uh, solo exhibition coming up mm -hmm. on the 31st of July. Oh, so I've yes. just finished 20 paintings. Wow. For that. Yeah, so that's taken me months actually to get yes. them done. I, and it's been a big body of work and the whole mm. thing. Uh, it's called Morning Glory and it's all around uh, breakfast and mornings. Yeah. Because I'm an early riser. I love getting up early in the morning. I'm no mm -hmm. good at night, but I'm great in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Um, so all the paintings are flowers and uh, breakfasty stuff. Yeah, and, beautiful. And I've made a tablecloth to go with it. So I think it's going to be a really nice exhibition. <laughs> oh my so. I'm just remembering we need to talk about tablecloths as well. But anyway, no, we might not dive into all of it. I might have to have you have you come back, Kate. We'll have to do another one. 
Yes, no worries. But I think <laughs> you were asking podcast. me. I think you were asking me where I sell. Yeah, yeah, just stuff. Have... And I think, um, I think advice. If you want to ask advice around for people who are just starting out, mm. my my strategy at the start uh, was just to say yes to everything, and I mm. think that served me really well. And now it's changing. I need to actually say no to more stuff. Yes, yes. But at the start, it's that's been a great policy. So you know, mm. enter every competition that you can. You'll only you won't you'll probably win nothing mm -hmm. uh, you might not give, even be a finalist but the more you enter the more you mm -hmm. throw your hat in the ring the more mm -hmm. you be part of stuff I think the more something or good always comes out of anything mm -hmm. that you're part of so mm -hmm. I've always said yes to everything so if you know a small shops approach me to sell a piece I've always said yes to that um mm -hmm. uh I've always been part of anything that any opportunity that's come up and I think that served me really really well um, but now I, I'm at the point where I need to refine it. So I just um, now sell in a couple of stores. Jumbled mm -hmm. is the main one. And then a couple of galleries. Um, so I, I'm at the Toowoomba Gallery in mm -hmm. Queensland and um, at Art to Art in Melbourne, where mm -hmm. you are as well. Because mm -hmm. there's only so much art you can do yes. in a week, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Like that's something that I'm personally sort of journeying through at the moment. So I'm a slow painter number one number two I also teach and number three yeah. um I only I've got my kiddos home for half the week so I have to work out how to manage volume yeah. um so that's that's my little personal challenge um it's but yeah really hard <laughs> we'll just I don't know I don't know I'll just magic it I do have a magic wand in the cupboard somewhere I just <laughs> need to find it it's really hard <laughs> And I think actually for some artists, that's where if you can diversify your brand a little bit into some other stuff to create a passive income, it can be really good. So having prints, I, have, I sell tablecloths and napkins and tea towels. Mm. They're, re they're relatively simple to set up. And once mm -hmm. you've got them set up and have the stock, you can just sell it on your website. And so it's not a huge income. It's tiny, actually, but it is a mm. triple of mm. passive income on top of what you can actually paint as originals. Yeah, I think that I will have to probably think a little bit more about that. Yeah. <laughs> over time, over time, we'll get there. I've, we, it's just the end of school holidays here, so I'm just in that, you know, recovery mode. Yeah, <laughs> and then my brain yeah, you need a week on. off from school that's, holidays. That's yeah. about that's about right. Um, well, thank you so much for sharing all of your um, all of your info today. Um, did you have one key piece of advice, maybe for some aspiring artists? That might be watching i was thinking about that because you you'd sent me you said that that might come up mm. and i was thinking i've got i've got lots but if you want to <laughs> we always ones, do yeah <laughs> okay one really simple one is mm -hmm. that this is the best money you'll ever spend it is a metal tube bringer oh. and it's really strong it's oh. uh what company is it um the gill uh mechanical company metal tube bringer I got mine at the Sydney art store and it is so strong and even my oldest paints I can just get the complete end of the tube that oh, that's it's so like my, good it's the best 45 bucks you'll ever spend okay so that's like yeah a, pra a practical tip yep, noted um, <laughs> I think my other simple piece of advice for people using social media is that good photography is key mm. I do see some artists who have beautiful work that's poorly photographed mm -hmm. and you just you can't art is such a visual medium it, you're really letting the art down if it's photographed uh, on a really crappy old phone so what's your what are your tips then around the art photography because that is something that I want to explore soon with my my art members um so yeah well, what, what, what do you think about it so as, as part of one of my other hobbies that I, of course, have done some photography courses and I've dabbled in photography quite mm. a lot. So I love <laughs> photography <laughs> and I've got a good SLR camera. So I use that to photograph all my mm. stuff, but not everyone has that. A, 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 good, a more recent iPhone takes really good photos. I arrange quite a lot of my art in a flat lay and put flowers around it or some sort of mm. other objects or on beautiful fabric to make it a bit more interesting like a, a mindful not to just hang it on a dirty wall in mm. a shadowy light you know with the washing basket in the background I try to just take a minute to create a beautiful scene it just means that your social media is visually so much more appealing you want people to go to your page and go oh like that's yeah that's a visual feast yeah um, beautiful and it all yeah. relates doesn't it like I, I yeah the, 
I really like seeing artworks with also the supplies that have been used yes. to create that particular artwork or on an easel with something in the background that adds to the detail as well. So yep, absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, everybody go and check out Kate's Insta account for some beautiful examples. Oh, of gosh, how to look, I'm sure there's art. people doing it better, but I do try to make an effort with it. Yeah. Yeah. No, gorgeous. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Kate. You're welcome, Roz. So go and go and check Kate out. Are you on Facebook as well? Facebook page? I am. Mm -hmm. I am. It just, you know, when you post to Instagram, you can connect it to Facebook. So it's, it's yeah. all the same really on Instagram okay. and Facebook. But there are some people that prefer Facebook to Instagram. Yes, that, that's, that is yeah. true. All right. Well, thank you so much. And I'll catch you next time. <laughs> it's been nice speaking to you and your little offsider. <laughs> all right. Bye. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye.